Right, let's get you started on drawing a desk tidy in uh, isometric. This is the final idea. Use isometric for a lot of final ideas. Right, so firstly what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you I've done this desk tidy already on SketchUp and I'm going to use that as a guide. Uh, I'm going to be using menus on the left and the right side which you can't see. So first of all I'm just going to zoom out and select all of this move it downwards that's kind of like my guide if you like and um, what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to need to use a ruler and a light line with a pencil and I would kind of just measure out as best as you can from a top corner you obviously need to put your name on the sheet um, from the top sort of like edge um, not the top corner itself you could actually start by drawing a line here which is 40 or four boxes along so one two three four get right into the corner if you can and then 120 down or 12 boxes okay so just to remind you that's 120 or 120 or 12 boxes and this top top one is 40 or four boxes I'm always talking in millimeters of course and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this into a diamond shape and then I'm going to draw down 40 and 40, 40 and then 120 again and 40. So you've kind of got this um, rectangular prism here. All right. So take a moment, draw that out, draw light lines, nice and easy. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make this end bit into a cube, which is 40 by 40. Let's delete that away, didn't mean to do that. 40 by 40, now I'm using a gray line to draw because I just wanna remind you that you're doing this uh, with very light pressure. Okay, it's not until you finally commit that you use a um, a darker line, a, a line with more pressure. I'm going to go along two boxes here and then the four boxes down. All right, I'm going to divide this up first of all and then that should leave me with three and three at the top, three and three at the bottom, three and three at the back. So it's four boxes or 40, then it's 20 then it's 30, then it's 30. Okay, and you're gonna see what I'm gonna be doing this with this in a moment. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, once you've, div once you've drawn that out, is to divide up my sections. I'm now gonna define my sections. I'm gonna draw this line down from one top hand corner down to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna delete away those lines. So you would rub those lines out. I'm gonna rub out the line at the bottom as well. Okay, so that's the triangular bit done, uh, which is where the phone would sit. I'm gonna draw a line down here, and then I'm going to draw a line across here and across here. I'm just gonna do that again, I'll show you that again. So I'm gonna draw a line along the base here I'll show you the bottom one as well so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to draw a line across here and a line down there. All right. And delete away the lines I don't need. And you can see it's starting to take shape. I'm going to also delete away a couple of these extra lines on the back two boxes. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And you can see how it's starting to take shape. Okay. I've also added at the back a little kind of additional sort of lip, if you like. And that is how you draw it out. Now you can add things like ellipses and circular holes here for pencils and uh, also for, um, you know, Pritt stick, which you've got in the original design. Uh, I'm not going to bother too much with that. You might also want to add in an additional parallel um, set of lines here. This is more sort of the challenge level. Uh, I'll quickly do that. Uh, to do so, I'm just gonna need to change the grid spacing here, halve it down. 
so I can get in that extra bit of detail. I'm going to just zoom in quickly. Now, how you want to do this is you want to probably measure half of those boxes and just do an outline really on one edge. And I'm trying to keep this consistent. I'm trying to keep the line on the same side always. I'm kind of going on the, the left side. Uh, the left side of the of the shape. So I'm losing that side of it a little bit. I'm going to just go in and delete away my lines. <clears throat> I have to redraw some bits and pieces. You wouldn't have to do this. You could just use a ruler and do all of this much quicker than, than that. I'm just going to have to add in an extra line here, there. Oh, I'm going to have to change this quite a bit here. That goes down. Because I'm shifting everything to the left a little bit. And I'm going to just go way across there. Okay, good. And just get rid of anything that doesn't look right. And you've added in now sort of a little bit of thickness, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. Because when you line bend this out of acrylic, it will actually have a thicker edge. I've also added a sort of a pretty sort of basic render or texture uh, where I've done the top air, top bit the lightest yellow, uh, the side bits sort of like a medium yellow, and then underneath a darker yellow, and then the very edge here, the darkest. I was kind of trying to emulate this a little bit, except I'm having the light source coming from above. So you can do that as well. Um, I'm not going to do that now. I just wanted to show you the basic principles of how you use a sort of a rectangular prism, also known as a crate, to draw this out. I hope that's been of some help to you. And um, after you've drawn the first one, draw another one, draw a couple more, get creative. I want to see your final design.